Another important reason that should make us think that probably the current account balance of the United States um, is uh, running a deficit that is not too large has to do with diversification of investment and financial globalization. So we all know that uh, um, it's not a good idea to put all our eggs in one basket. In other words, it's better to split our investments in multiple um, options of investment, so in multiple uh, stocks, in multiple um, uh, assets, so that we don't concentrate um, all uh, our holdings on one specific asset, tightening our uh, returns to the specific risk of that, uh, that asset, but rather we spread uh, over multiple possibilities of investments our assets so that if one asset for some reason is going bad there are other assets in our portfolio that might be compensating the loss coming from that specific investment. This um, very um, general advice um, translates into um, global portfolios of assets as well. So um, an, an, an investor might be tempted to uh, put all of his funds in shares of stocks and bonds in uh, his own market. However, by doing this, this investor would be um, taking on all the risk, all the specific country risk that is associated with his own economy. A better idea is to spread out the funds not only on your own um, stock market and uh, uh, bonds, but rather um, diversify the investment over stock markets across the world. So over the last years, the cost of uh, investing abroad, the cost of buying shares in stock markets from other nations has been falling dramatically. Um, a rough um, rule to obtain a well diversified portfolio um, is uh, that we should uh, keep a percentage of assets in uh, a given stock market or financial assets of a given economy um, on the basis of the importance of this economy in the world economy. So if the United States are worth 25% of world GDP, then an investor that wants to diversify its portfolio should put 25% of his total assets into financial assets based in the United States and 75% of the assets in other economies' financial instruments. Now, we will see in the next slides that if the entire world was um, w w decided to do this. And so if uh, we got complete financial globalization and if the portfolios of all the savers in the world were diversified, then we would see that a lot more money would flow into buying financial assets in the United States than is currently happening. Um, the reason is that the United States are still uh, about 25% of the world economy, so a very large chunk of the world economy. And as uh, the home bias of uh, portfolios of investors gets reduced and as uh, the process of globalization of financial markets becomes complete, portfolios will reflect more and more this uh, repartition of assets on different nations based on how important an economy is relative to the world economy. So in the next couple of slides, we'll take a measure of savings from the World Bank, which is gross savings, and that amounts to about 17 trillions of uh, uh, dollars. And we will see that if a quarter of that was to flow to the United States, about 4.5 trillions of dollars would be directed to the United States each, each year. Um, 
This compares with a current account deficit of about 500 billion, which is less than half of a trillion, which is uh, way less than the amount predicted under the scenario that we have perfectly diversified portfolios around the world. The message is that as the world becomes more globalized and financial markets become more integrated, we're likely to see more and more funds flowing towards the United States.